undefeated on the season, and he's taken on 16 and 10. Out of Lehigh, Mason Beckman. So after 11 minutes of wrestling on mat number four, Dalton Macri of Cornell knocks off 11 seeded Ronnie Bresser. So Nashawn Garrett comes out here with the early takedown, and all eyes are on mat number one for this match. As it's one of the most anticipated first round matches, so we have a treat here. Nashawn Garrett with a big lift. So breaking the action, we head back to the center. Mason Beckman looks over to his coaches. Coach Hughes says, let's get back to the center. So Mason Beckman gets set. Deshaun Garrett, left side, tight waist, right hand on the elbow. Mason Beckman sits out immediately, comes up to both legs. Deshaun Garrett looking for that underhook and a big lift, another big lift. So if you're Mason Beckman, you're going to have to look for multiple moves. Put multiple moves together. And for you young wrestlers, that's important. Putting multiple moves together, especially in the down position. When you're working out, have your workout partner pick you up, lift you back down, knee slide up. Continue to get up to your feet. And not only will tire you out in the room, it'll tire your, it'll tire your workout partner out as well so you're both getting some good work there so Sean Garrett coming out with the quick takedown 30 or 132 on the riding time Mason Beckman sits out looks to fight hands does a great job of sitting out Mason Beckman, no stranger to first round losses and coming back to an All-American status. Last year had to do so if he wanted to All-American. Lost in the first round, ended up coming all the way back. Once again, as we mentioned, a couple premier matches going on here. 5-5 five, five on mat five with Yutsi and Clamara. But Clamara does have that riding time, so Red gets hit for stalling to Sean Garrett. Not finding a way to get to an opposite hip or outside of the hip, so parallel ride. Referee felt, hey, let's get back to the center. Fresh start. And now Yutsi picks up the takedown. So we have a caution on the green, caution on the red. And as Sean Garrett tells the referee, I can't hear. The referee says, not my fault. Listen for the whistle. A riding time erased on mat number five. As we've just seen Deshaun Garrett pick up a takedown in the early first period, nearly 10 seconds into it, and he, he will end up with almost three minutes of riding time. So 2.54 on the riding time clock. So if you're Mason Beckman, you cannot choose to go in the down position. Mason Beckman looks at his coaches and they tell him, start working on that riding time. So Deshaun Garrett leads 2-0 heading into the second period. But as I mentioned, that 2.54, so he gets a takedown six seconds into the period, does eventually get hit for stalling, but ends up riding that first period out. Caution on the green. So that is Mason Beckman's second caution. The third caution will be a point awarded to Nashawn Garrett. Garrett immediately 
with the escape. Mason Beckman drops to that right knee. Deshaun Garrett wanting to get his hands on Mason Beckman. Mason Beckman circling to his left, working to get back to the center. Now looks for a swing single, gets his hands locked. Deshaun Garrett has a right side underhook. Throws Mason Beckman by. We're back to the center. No change in position. Still neutral with 134 left. Connor Utsi over there on mat number five. Does knock off sixth seeded Eddie Clamara. So 125 already shaken up as we saw Ronnie Bresser go down. Dalton Marcy taking him down. So 3-0 is the lead for Nishawn Garrett. Mason Beckman pushing forward. Nishawn Garrett working hands. Now Beckman with the left side underhook. Nishawn Garrett circles to his right out of bounds, back to the center, no change in position. Beckman heads back to the center. And Deshaun Garrett gets to a swing single immediately up to his feet. And that's what's promising. That's what you want to see if you're a coach is your wrestler not only get to his tie, create an angle, get to his shot, come up to his feet, and immediately finish. So no playing around for Deshaun Garrett as he picks up another two-point takedown. And that extends his lead to 5-0 with riding time at three minutes and 18 seconds. So automatically the riding time is locked up. He's at 322. So Mason Beckman can no longer erase that riding time. Beckman looks to sit out, gets to his butt, and that does it. So now if you're Mason Beckman, you have to go on your feet. He cannot afford to go in the down position, and he goes down. That's tough. That's a tough call to make. So Beckman gets set. We saw Nashawn Garrett in the first period ride, but he elects to just go ahead and go optional start. Beckman circles out, gets the escape, and immediately, Nishan Garrett again on that swing single. Mason Beckman looks to roll through, find an ankle, gives up the takedown, 7-1. So a great start for Nishan Garrett. Eight to one lead, and if you're Cornell, you're gonna have to Elect to go, optional start, bring them back up to your feet, look for the another two points for the takedown. You, It's all about team points, and when it comes to team points, it's about bonus points. And Chrysler, at 133 pounds, Upsets Anthony Giraldo of Rutgers via fall. And this is what's exciting about March, March Madness. Is you never know what is going to happen. So that is the third or fourth seated wrestler going down. Beckman down nine to two. Nishan with the major decision. If it holds right now, he heads back to the center. 421 on the riding time. So an impressive 421 at that. And he's going to go optional start. So we'll see if he really does cut him. And he does. He feels that he can get another takedown. And Beckman heads to the out-of-bounds line. Matt Awareness, he knows exactly where he's at. He's gonna stay there as close to the out-of-bounds line as he can get. 
to not give up the major decision. And Joey Dance, about 26 on mat number four, defeats Freddy Alfredo Rodriguez from SIU Edwardsville by a score of eight to two. So that's a number two seed. Short time left, eight seconds. Three seconds left. Looks like Nashawn Garrett's going to miss out on the major decision. With a 10 to three lead. So that moves and he is upset with himself. You see him throwing his headgear, not happy. And at a point for 